life is a ripe old age. But the just man, though he die early, shall be at rest. For the age that is honourable comes not with the passing of time, nor can it be measured in the term of years. Rather, understanding is the hoary crown for men, and an unsullied life the attainment of old age. He who pleased God was love. He who lived among sinners was transported. Snatched away, lest wickedness pervert his mind or deceit beguile his soul. For the witchery of paltry things obscures what is right, and the world of desire transforms the innocent mind. Having become perfect in a short while, he reached the fullness of a long career. For his soul was pleasing to the Lord, therefore he sped, sped him out of the midst of wickedness. But the people saw and did not understand, nor did they take this into account, that God's grace and mercy are with his elect, and that he watches over them. This is the word of the Lord. Tony and Mukisaraki, Dakwan, Patricia, Yinka and Ngozi, 
Tara for the nephews and nieces. Take heart in Yeshua for all of you who remain in our thoughts and prayers. The love and affection we have for Biggie always extended to you all. So please be assured that we will be there for you in the same way Biggie was always there for us. May the soul rest in love peace. Bashasan. Adikwega. Jara, whom you have called yourself, we pray that you grant him his own arrest. Be with the family he left behind, especially his wife and family. We pray for the parents he left behind. It's hard for them, it's difficult. Please comfort them in Jesus' name. Be
verses 14 to 20, the master rewarded the servants according to the extent they had improved on what he entrusted to them. If you did much, you got much in return. Now it's important to note that just as a master in that parable took the servants by surprise, so also God takes us by surprise when he wants us to give him an account of our stewardship to nurture for him. He didn't specify how long they will have him for. He could have called him at any time before now or at a future date, but God chose to do so only last Sunday evening.
Jehovah departed, we therefore commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, we shall change the body of our low estate that it may be like unto his glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things to himself. I will lament the departure of their servant, Nuega. We may always remember that we are most certain to follow him and give us grace to prepare for that last hour by a good life that we may not be surprised by sudden death but be ever watching that when you shall call we may with the bridegroom enter into eternal glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.